He was not playing a part. He was genuinely a soul crying out, crying out to save life. If you killed Patrick Henry, he said, then your justice is unjust. His fight against death became his whole purpose in life. After Patrick Henry, Robert Benater saved five other individuals who had been condemned to death. The dead are listening. The dead, his dead, Simon, Simon his father, arrested in 1943 by Klaus Barbie's forces. Tinia, his grandmother, deported at 79. His other grandmother, Idi, who died alone in Paris, Naftoul, his uncle, his cousins, so many members of his family decimated by the Shoah. Death, death, constantly with him every time he was controlled by German officers in the village in Savoie where he was hiding with the rest of his family. Death, always on his trail. And after the war, the deaths of Auschwitz that hung heavy over his life. He was haunted by death. And this is probably why he spent all of his life defending life, defending what we have here on earth and what we can aspire to, a rage for living. He loved words, he loved traveling. He went nights without sleep to, stuffer, to, to study, to become a doctor, to prepare his classwork. He loved life. He loved the beautiful life, theater, opera, life for love. He married Elizabeth, a couple united by universal values. They went through troubled times, through trials, but also through love and happiness with their three children, Judith, Simon, and Benjamin. The light of a great love and the love of enlightenment, Condorcet, the revolution and the republic. The dead are listening. What Robert Badinter was hearing on that day in September in 1981, he was hearing the voices of Jaurès, Clemenceau, Briand, Camus, Victor Hugo. In the National Assembly, to defend the law abolishing capital punishment, the Minister of Justice was carrying forth François Mitterrand's campaign promise as he ran for president. Despite public opinion, Robert Benater spoke an unforgettable speech against capital punishment. Robert Benater spoke out. Is capital punishment dissuasive? He said no. Patrick Henry himself said that the death penalty was no way of deterring death. All of the clergy were opposed to the death penalty, and the death penalty was espoused by the worst dictators. Robert Benetier spoke of justice, justice that sometimes is fallible, that makes mistakes. So can we accept to have people die by mistake, that we can have a man cut in two in the prison courtyard? and discover later that it was a mistake? No, it's not a question of politics. It is a question of morality, of conscience. Robert Badinter convinced the National Assembly. A majority of members of parliament voted for the law. The majority from the left and also leaders of the opposition under Jacques Chirac. Robert Badinter won his cause. He won his greatest trial. Victor Hugo, one of his models, had written in favor of abolition, and Robert Badinter carried that forward into 1981, the year of abolition. 